Standard Tetra is a variant of the Tetra Corpus Rifle and you can get it from the Sister of Parvel system. So let's take a look on the stats. And it's pretty much like a, a stairs. It's the regular one being the worst, then the Prisma version being slightly better version, and then we got to the Tenet version being the best one available. Or, well, I think we can say it's uh, the best version as we have more critical chance, more critical multiplier, less fire rate, more magazine, more status, less, uh, more reload time, and more IPS damage. We're also gonna have our elemental from our lich or our sister. In my case, it's gonna be 25% magnetic damage. And we also got a secondary fire mode, which is gonna be pretty much a grenade launcher. So yeah, I think we can say this is a, an upgrade as we are gonna be crit fireable with better crit multiplier and crit chance it's gonna be hunter munition viable so you can already have an idea of what are the builds gonna be so let me show you both fire modes first one is the auto which is the regular tetra you know over the years accuracy is actually pretty good even though it's say it's a low accuracy like 18.2% and our, for our secondary fire by clicking your probably your mouse wheel button you're gonna toggle to the semi and if you're not on full full clip it will reload as it shoots the whole clip when you shoot it on yours on the semi version so you're probably familiar with the bullet holes this is actually a almost a clip hose <laughs> you're just using so much ammo on the secondary fire but yeah if we still had the <laughs> the farms with the steel essence and vitus essence not despawning this would be a great weapon to collect all the ammo from the ground by using a vigilante set vigilante the vigilante supplies to get all the ammo from the ground so i want to talk about heavy caliber heavy caliber even though it's only changing about not even 8 per 8 it's 7 points on accuracy is going to make a huge difference probably remember that we just shoot this and it was like pinpoint accuracy look at this now it's yeah accuracy is garbage now pretty much a shoot to the left arm and, a, and another one for the right arm. So I am not a fan of using heavy caliber. So let's see what we can pull out. We are gonna use serration for the damage, galvanized chamber for the, for the mute shot, point strike and vital sense for our critical. So we're seeing on 70% critical chance and 4.8 times critical multiplier. Hunter munitions to pair with our critical so we're getting more slash procs our uh, as our slash on the weapon is not really good it's 35 same as impact and our viral to combo with our our bleeds and for the two remaining slots we are gonna try a few different stuff very much we can try our galvanized aptitude to get a little bit more status chance and also get pretty much the condition overload for our weapon or and for the Exilus kinetic ricochet is a possibility but as we have projectiles terminal velocity might be a good thing to use and it even matches the polarity so let's summon some dude to the first build and see what we can do So the performance is pretty mediocre until we get our galvanized mods going, 
the end we just start to shred stuff that is for the primary fire let's use the secondary fire now hey that's much better wow <laughs> i'm actually surprised but i think oh yeah we got the buffs from the from the mods but still it's quite powerful the secondary fire let's wait for the buffs to go away and then we'll try again all right so buffs just fell off so let's try it again see what the secondary fire can do without the galvanized mod stacked we should see a uh, a significant difference when we do get the hunter munitions rocks it's kind of crazy and yeah there is a difference and surprise surprise we killed everyone but we are just about out of ammo one thing to note is that if you want to use the secondary fire a lot you probably want to use something for your ammo such as rifle mutation or even the vigilante supplies so let's try another thing let's try let's put back our terminal velocity just for now and let's change the galvanized aptitude for some heat Go with termite rounds to get that a little bit more status chance and the fire. The heat procs, fire or heat procs are gonna reduce a portion of our enemy's armor. And now we're shredding through their armor and well their self a lot easier. Yeah, so actually it feels like using heat is for the time I'm recording, using heat is much better than using the galvanized ones. Or at, at least the galvanized app to pretty good. I'm actually happy with the results. Uh, we have the the buff active, but let's let's just shoot them anyway. Not gonna be spending too much time here. Got a proc there. We're getting the proc. Results are about the same and still feel a little bit better. But yeah, using the secondary fire you're gonna need some for the for the ammo. We can even try putting on some corrosive. I'm just gonna leave termite rounds for now as it feels like it works just fine you're probably gonna be dealing more damage with corrosive as corrupted heavy gunners are weaker than corrosive let's take a look performing just fine getting a good amount of damage and always as the galvanized mods are going our damage ramps up quite a lot and it's really good this is a weapon that we could we could even go with only status but I, yeah after you if you have the possibility of going with a hybrid build using both status and critical chance you should go for it as you'll find less diminishing returns and best or better matching combos when you you're able to mix critical chance with critical chance and multiplier with the status you get the best results I just switched back to viral and one thing I want to say is of course choosing your element is always up to you but maybe 
choosing for heat might be a good thing if you're planning to place uh, something like this with either Byron heat or corrosive and heat because you pretty much eliminate the need for a heat mod and you could put something else here so then you could maybe use the galvanized app too or even I don't know hammer shot could be interesting could be very interesting could really get some extra damage on the weapon or a ribbon would also be amazing for this weapon so let's start again let's start with our stuff then we're gonna get our vendor going then hopefully the cat is gonna buff us People, please. Uh, yeah, we didn't get the full buff, but it's gonna have to do. As always, and pretty much these tenant weapons, all of them buffed are in freaking insane. Remember the Spyrex? Yeah. And I didn't even got the full buff for the headshot. Got 35% instead of getting the percent, but yeah, it works just fine. Semi, why are you not hitting me? Alright. Avenger, great. Go. Nothing? Yeah, two shots, everyone's dead. Just fine. Mirage time, let's go. Primary fire, not very, nothing really crazy going on, but I think as soon as we use the secondary fire, things might, might go crazy, we'll have to see, and boop, Jesus Christ. Last but not least, always the star of the show, it's our girl, Mag. Primary fire, kinda boring, super boring. Okay, let's go for the secondary fire. Deadly. As always, let's try with Breed Surge now. They're not even at the center of the bubble, but they're taking a lot of damage. So I think that's about it, about the Tenet Tetra, our old trusty Tetra, with a little change, let's say. Grenade launcher is kind of nice, very ammo hungry. I would say this is a decent weapon, very interesting to use if you have the other tetra weapons just bringing a, an extra feature for the weapons really nice so yeah that's about it for more weapon content subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video leave it a like and thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye